Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Amra from the Ramblin' Richardsons. And I appreciate you guys being here. Thanks for showing up, Ramblers. So we have a new animal to add to our exotic animal list here in the house. Actually, we have a couple of animals, I guess, technically. So before we get into the video, you know what I'm gonna say? Go down there like the video hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell that way you don't miss any of the videos that we post so a few changes in the exotic animal realm for our family uh we have gone bioactive not all of our enclosures are going to be bioactive but I did update several of the enclosures to now be bioactive enclosures. So I'll take you on a tour of those in a little bit. Hope you enjoy. over here is still in the same spot it's the best place for her since she doesn't require any UVB we have her by the window so she can get some natural sunlight if you take a look though over here we have some new additions right here <laughs> is beans and beans is one of our newest additions to the Ramblin Richardson's exotic animals it was a early Christmas gift, he or she, they were an early Christmas gift from my wife. So eventually, if we have a lady axolotl, Beans turns out to be a lady, she'll go down here with Frankie. Oh, and of course Bodie needs to say hi. Okay, where's Frankie? Where's Frankie the fish? Good boy, that's where Frankie the fish is. Is that where the fish is? Good boy. Okay. Come here. Come on up here. You want to be up here with me? Come on. Well, come on. Come here, little bit. Come on. If you can. Come on. You can, little man. Come here. <laughs> come here. <laughs> okay. Well, Bodhi decided he wanted to be a part of the video, didn't you, buddy? That's okay. This is Bodhi. He is our party schnauzer. And he's about 11, 12 years old. And he loves Frankie and he loves fishies. So anytime we ask him where are the fishies, he goes straight to Frankie's tank. And he loves to interact with them. He'll sit and watch them for hours. If I can find a video of him staring at a video, uh, or say, if I can find a video of him staring at some fish, I will certainly try to include that. Hey, 
Anyways, beans, if beans ends up being female, beans will end up going into the tank with Frankie so they can cohab and possibly breed because we have a leucistic, which is beans, and then a melanoid or wild type, which is Frankie. So they may make some interesting babies. Next, we have the day gecko enclosure where Johnny and June live. They are a breed, breeding pair that haven't bred of peacock day geckos, and we have gone bioactive. So we have a layer of the clay balls, then we have a substrate a divider, and then some coconut fiber and sphagnum moss that have isopods in them. We took their enclosure and went bioactive with it and added the isopods. Now up top here in this little tank, you can see is also bioactive, clay ball, substrate divider. We got the coconut husks in there. That is housing currently a group of isopods, some orange isopods or roly pulleys as I used to call them as a kid. And if we can get that colony big enough, then they will end up going in the day, day gecko enclosure and also into Sheila's enclosure. Sheila's enclosure used to have coconut husk and coconut fiber in it, and I switched to no substrate at all for easier cleanup, and she did not seem to enjoy that as much. So, yes, Bodie, we put some sphagnum moss and coconut fiber back into her enclosure, and she seems to be enjoying it quite a bit more now. Once we have some more clay balls and substrate divider come in, I'll go ahead and clean that out and put some fresh in. She doesn't have any isopods yet because we're going to be planning on redoing the bottom so it has that drainage layer to go ahead and add the isopods and maybe even plant a few plants, a few live plants. Right now I'm propagating some pothos, so it would be really nice to add some pothos in there for her to hide in. Um, and maybe another, some other plant, but to be determined. But that will eventually be a bioactive enclosure for her as well. Went ahead and cleaned out the fish tank. I know, buddy, I know, you love the fishies. We have the fish tank way up here. It's a six gallon cylinder. And I went ahead and it had lots of algae. Went ahead and cleaned it all out. Um, there was some Amano shrimp and a couple of pygmy quarries. We went ahead and got them out as well as the moss balls that were in there and cleaned it out really good to get rid of all of the algae, put a fresh filter in it, and then went ahead and cycled the tank with some used uh, filter media to get the tank going again. And everybody seems to be thriving and doing well. So uh, got a couple of really good shots of everybody doing their thing, Sheila eating, beans eating. I think we even got a shot of old Frankie down there eating. So that's what's new here in our room. We got a couple of new animals, the isopods and beans over here, just being as cute as she can be or he can be. Um, so I'm really excited to see what happens. Duke, of course, is in the guest room behind me. He stays secluded. He's a chameleon. They really don't like a whole lot of hustle and bustle. They like to be solitary, but we've been making some headway with him, getting him out of his enclosure. Um, try to do that at least a, for a little bit every single day and he seems to enjoy it. He seems to want to get out of the enclosure to be enriched. So I went ahead and did that a little bit today and fed him a few crickets. But that's really all we got for this. I know, buddy, so tired. That's really all I got for this video, so I'm going to wrap it up. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it and as always, thanks for watching. Peace. Can you say peace, buddy? Peace, guys. Give me a woo-woo! <laughs> Alright.